literally just had the highest jumping day of my entire life. I didn't have the best technique today, but I jumped the highest ever and I felt a difference and it was unbelievable. It's just a testament to not giving up and that's what my whole channel's about, that's what my life's about. I wanted to help other people achieve their dreams and this level was a dream and now it's on to the next. What is up guys? I literally just had the highest jumping day of my career just now. And what the one thing I have to say is that I didn't do anything new. I haven't learned anything new, but I have been learning about my body and how to train properly. And the number one thing I can give you is to keep believing in yourself. And what I mean by that, if you can believe you can hit that next level, you can stay motivated, but that belief is a muscle and what I mean by that is that you got to do what you can do to strengthen that belief so if it means taking a step back if it means doing a tiny thing achieving the smallest thing you can do for me it was getting healthy and there's a lot of different aspects of my nutrition and my body and learning how to jump and working on my technique and little tiny baby steps that strengthen my belief if you can do the one little thing that adds and that builds to your technique, that builds to your training, that you can make progress on, that belief gets stronger, and then you could finally see yourself achieving that next level. And that's the main thing I want you to take away from this video because I didn't learn anything new. There's no secret workouts. I literally just never gave up and did what I can to strengthen my belief little by little, one tiny fraction of an inch at a time, and it feels unbelievable. And if you find something that fills you with that, a dream, a dream that you want to achieve, Go for it and never give up and you can do it. It starts with the belief, you take action, but you have to see it and you have to build that muscle of belief. Let's get it, baby, dunk life. Landing on one leg.
Yo, so just on that warm-up approach, I learned something about my, my normal pattern. So just because I was approaching the rim, I felt like leaning into it like this, like that, because my mindset off the lob is I do that, but off the dribble, I don't, I don't pop up enough. So instead, I, I realized that as I took my first dribble, and that's why my warm-up jumps are getting really good off the dribble, and my dribble notes are getting better because I'm staying more upright. But I didn't even know I was doing that till that attempt. I knew I needed to stay upright, but I didn't even realize that when I start my approach, I have that lowering mentality to try to like go into it. So that's something I just fixed, and it feels great.